I've decided to dedicate an entire movie to the subject of the VCF envelope because I think it's a little bit harder to understand than the one found in the VCA. Remember, envelopes are used primarily to control parameters over time relative to the note on and note off of ends. For the VCA, that parameter is volume, and we know that what we are controlling is the amount of volume from zero or no sound to the maximum volume and back to zero again. The filter envelope is similar to this, but instead of changing volume over time, we're controlling the cutoff parameter. The difference is we probably don't want to go from having no cutoff to full cutoff and back again. We want the flexibility to be able to change from one cutoff setting to a second cutoff setting and back again. To accomplish this, we'll use the filter's envelope knob, labeled ENV. To understand this concept, it's easiest to think of the cutoff knob as controlling the primary cutoff setting of the VCF. This knob controls the filter cutoff even when the filter envelope is completely off. The envelope knob is a plus minus operation that can add or subtract values to the primary cutoff setting. These relative values will only be applied, however, when the envelope is on. Let's take a look at an example. With full reset loaded, I'm going to first pull down the sustain level of the VCF filter. Next, I'll turn the cutoff value way down to around 20. This is my primary cutoff setting. Now, we want to work on our second setting. For this example, I want to add some of the high frequencies back to the sound to make it brighter over time. Normally, you would do this by ear, but I'm just going to add some random positive value on the envelope knob. Notice that there is no change to the sound because the envelope is still completely off. To hear the effects of the envelope knob, all I have to do is raise the sustain slider to 100%. What's happening now, though, is I've lost the sound of my primary cutoff setting. I can only hear the sound with the envelope modifier applied. In order to hear the cutoff value change over time, I have to set one of my time values to something other than 1. So I've got to add some time to either A, D, or R. Of these, A is the only one that isn't going to require me to change other settings to notice a difference. So I'm going to raise the attack time to about 1,000 milliseconds, or 1 second. You can hear the difference quite clearly now as the effects of the envelope knob are applied over the course of one second, moving the sound from dull to bright. Just like the release control on the VCA envelope controlled the time it took for our sustained volume to return back to silence, the release setting of the VCF envelope controls the amount of time it takes for our envelope affected sound to return to the primary cutoff setting. Set the filter envelope's release to 2,000 milliseconds, and you will notice that nothing happens. If I also set the VCA envelope's R to 2,000, however, I'll get an interesting effect. Now, we can hear the effects of the envelope setting released, and the sound returns back to the original cutoff setting over the course of two seconds. Note that the VCF envelope includes the same shape and velocity controls included with the VCA envelope. Now that we've covered all of the voice generation and subtractive elements, our next movie will look at the rich set of modulation options available in Element.